All right, hey everyone. Uh, today, we're doing a oil change on, make sure I'm recording here. I am. Today we're doing an oil change on this nice Cirrus SR22. Let's <laughs> look real quick. Ah, these are really nice planes. Super slick, um, just fast. But we're gonna do the oil change and then oxygen service. Oh, now I'm excited. And finally got the new mic set up and camera set up. Uh, sneak peek, real quick. I'm gonna make a, uh, I'm gonna walk over here. Swing you around. Doing a uh, tutorial on the timing on that one. The time in the, uh, um, the mags. So excited about that. But as of right now, we get this uh, oil change done. I could find my uh, my screwdriver. Here it is. I'm gonna take out the top cowling first. So let's see. Yeah, I'm going to be making a lot of videos now. I'm super excited, except especially with my new setup. This camera is going to be freaking sick. I love the mic. Um, so we'll, we'll do all kinds of stuff together. Uh, that prop over there, this uh, Cessna 172 in model. Actually, I don't know if you can see me there. The Cessna 172 in model over here. Um, it's going, and we just put a new uh, propeller on it, so that's pretty exciting. Actually, let me turn you a little bit. There, now you probably can see it a little better. So, on these cowlings, uh, they have these things called. Uh, uh, Cam locks, which are only half turns. I think I showed in my 100 hour. But then this entire cowling, it's really nice. It's just got two screws, actual screws in it. But then, um, well, the top cowling, anyways. And then the rest of it is um, just these half turns. Just you have to just gotta go, yeah, just a half turn, and they, they come loose. So a little bit of time saver. Sometimes they're a pain, but. Most of the time, they're time saver. It's nice. There you go, that's the cowling removal. Always pop the uh, oil uh, dipstick slash cover oh, I meant yeah oil dipstick to let air in when we drain the oil and down here because I don't want to take off the entire bottom cowling I'm going to uh, just take off this light so I can reach in and reach the the little uh, oil drain nipple and stick a hose on it and put a bucket down underneath and call it good. All right, here we are. All right, here we are. See that bad boy? It's exactly what we're after. That's that's a nice quick release valve for the oil. So I'm going to run a a uh, tube up to that. 
think I'll get. Still recording, my dude? Nice. Here we are. Now, if I can remember, I need something to set this. Um, set the bucket on so uh, the oil doesn't, this, this hose is just not quite long enough. So I get myself a little seat to move the bucket up a little bit. And stick it through the gear hole here. It's very hot as well. Did you look at that? It's draining. Got the hose hooked up. Very cool, huh? Sick. And another thing we do is I'm gonna punch a hole in this so they they can let air in and uh, just like we're doing here, leaving this cap open. Um, I'm gonna aim to punch a hole in that. It's pretty much the same, the same thing. Just let air in to allow oil to drain. Sound good? So I'm gonna grab a hammer. And a screwdriver of some sort. There we go. I'm just gonna punch a nice hole in. There, see? There it is. You see it taking air? Yeah, so it's working. Sweet. Sweet. All right, let me get in frame here. This here is the oxygen bottles. Service the oxygen in these breathing oxygen. Uh, I'll show you. It says aviators breathing on here, but I'll show you on the phone as soon as I pull it over to the back. All right, here it is. We got oxygen compressed, and we got aviators breathing. So yeah, this is the stuff. And oxygen bottles are never uh, 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 are never in the same spot unless I don't know it's the same airplane but it so happens that this airplane has its oxygen in the back here here it is pop this little thing off there you go it's pretty much full kind of hard to see but we just need it up to that green which is on one sec two thousand psi so there is no like yeah that's two thousand psi and so we just take this little nut off here and surps it up Sounds good, eh? All right.
Now, oxygen is um, very, very flammable, and there has been instances where if you create any kind of like static shock, it might ignite all that. People have been burnt pretty bad by oxygen uh, leaks in aircraft, so I'm going to try to prevent any static shocks, which would be like, you know, uh, not rubbing my clothes up against anything, or I'm going to have to set this camera down somewhat. Uh, that'll work just for now. You guys might not be able to see everything, but it's just me uh, screwing this on. All right. And you always have to, whenever it comes to servicing an oxygen bottle, it has to be a very slow process because if you put too much pressure in it, you know, all at once, it might explode. It becomes a bomb. So oxygen surface surfaces usually take a little longer to do. All right, here's our gauge. But I haven't turned anything on yet. So this is the more empty bottle, and this is the new bottle. So we always open up the empty bottle first because this one has more pressure and this one has a little less pressure but you want to use the oxygen that's in this one. Here we go. Okay, so that's feeling it in the lines. It's just, it's pressurizing the lines. It's not taking any yet. It's taking it now. Sorry, I was putting my ear up next to it. Maybe you guys can hear it. Can you hear that? Possibly. We're going to slow it down a little bit. But it's going to slowly creep up to that 2,000 mark. We're looking for. Let's go check on our oil. Ah, it's getting close, but still constant, constant drip, so. We're still doing good on that one. Cool. just kind of a waiting game right now. Um, I'll keep adding stuff to this here bottle, but uh, I'll let you know when it's done. All right, there we go. That's that. Let's, I'll give you guys a close up. Would you look at that? It's just a tad bit over 2,000, but that is perfect. It's in the green. It's where we want it. So now I'm going to take it uh, off in here. All right, so it's, it is. It's in the green. I can see it on the gauge but it's going to spray out some oxygen and it's actually you know you start feeling better and you get a relief in energy or I don't know, whatever you get more energy or something you're breathing in a lot of oxygen it's kind of nice in here but it is also very flammable in here <laughs> so we gotta always be careful but it's going to let oxygen out making sure everything's off Confirm. Double checking never hurts. We 
just let out like 2,000 PSI worth of oxygen in the lines. All right, oxygen is serviced, as you can see, it is now in the green. Look at that, perfect. Hold that up. Pull this over. This back. Pull these back. go. Hey, what's up everybody? As you can say, I um, lost all, I lost the audio in my, uh, my belt mic. That's what I call my little belt mic here. Um, this is actually my second time recording this video. I mean, me talking right now because I forgot to use this bad boy. And the GoPro my audio is trash. I'll switch over it real quick. Hey, what's going on? Uh, how's this, Mike? <laughs> yeah, it sucks compared to this thing. Um, but uh, let's see. Yeah, so without all the di dialogue and because both this mic was barely picking up anything, I'm just going to uh, time put some music over it and time lapse everything. But enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Sorry about this inconvenience. Uh, but there will be more videos like that. Uh, I'm going to be the next video is going to be me doing timing on that 172, just showing, trying to do the ex just the full details. Uh, there's two systems. There's actually three, but I don't have the third way to uh, time an engine. I only have two. Um, but yeah, next video coming soon. But uh, yep, yeah. uh, this is going to be my outro. And there's going to be video after, but go ahead and like, subscribe for more videos on aircraft maintenance, and see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>